I mean, the war for one, like, are the promises that these candidates say, are they really going to go through with it? Are we going to pull out? Are we going to stay there for no reason? Whatever. Um, I don't know. Universal health care, we were talking about that earlier and how it seems like this awesome idea that everyone's going to get help and stuff when in reality you have to look deep down and see who's really getting helped as opposed to who's getting pushed away again. I mean, no, nothing against Obama who, you know, if someone wants to vote for him, kudos. But I get to vote for McCain and the reason why is because I think Obama's celebrity status overshadows his whole, you know, program and what he wants to do as a president. I mean, granted that's kind of what a politician does is play on you know, status and all this face value, but that's what worries me is that, that that's what politics is now. It's just not what he's doing or what he wants to do, just who he is. I think what, like, it's for me, it's not so much about McCain and Obama because in all honesty, no, I don't think either presidential candidate is really that fantastic. Um, but I think something that the country should realize, or especially the conservatives, is We've had a Republican president in office for eight years, and how well has that gone? So keeping another one for the next four to eight years, if he's alive that long. I mean, clearly, it's not that Republicans are bad. I just think, you know, it's time for the country to get something different, you know? It, it's all about balance. This is probably, like, one of the most important elections of our lifetime. Because if McCain gets voted in, and then Palin is the vice president, we're kind of screwed. <laughs> because McCain has had melanoma four times, and he's 72 or 74, how old is he? 72. 70, 72, which means that he's going to die, <laughs> which means that Palin is going to be our vice president, and which means she's going to overturn, yeah, our president, she's going to overturn Roe versus Wade, and she's going to just be crazy hunting <laughs> moose. She doesn't even know what the Bush Doctrine is. Yeah, no. She thinks the dinosaurs lived 4,000 years ago. I mean, that is... She thinks she says not she can smart. see Russia from her backyard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. I certainly think that it would help to vote for a president who feels that they really can fix our economy. Like, John McCain has, like, in his speeches, has expressed a kind of thing that he, he doesn't really know very much about the economy and um, he's not really sure what he's going to do to fix it where Obama has expressed a more confident claim that he knows more about how the economy works and what he's going to do to fix it. I would refer everyone who's watching to a really good editorial by Tim Sherman in the SF Bay Guardian a couple weeks ago and he basically goes on to say that if you don't care about the environment, you don't care about social issues, and you don't care about the war in Iraq and you really don't care about any of those issues, and all you care about is the economy, Barack Obama is still your better candidate. Because um, John McCain proposes re cutting taxes, but for the upper class, like for the top 1%, um, whereas Barack Obama uh, proposes cutting taxes for a lot of the upper middle class so that it will be redistributed um, in a more equal and just way. Well, I'm voting for my black brother, Obama, you know, because, you know, we got to hold it down, you know what I mean? The change is going to come. Sam Cooke said it. I'm also voting for Obama. I mean, he's young and probably doesn't have as much experience, but um, I think he's definitely a better choice than McCain, and I obviously want the war to end, so that's a big part of it. I, I think he'll handle that well. Um, I'm also voting for Obama partially because I think it's time like a Democrat, we had a Democrat in office and maybe he'll do like have a different perspective and things like that. And plus um, McCain really scares me because <laughs> it sounds like if McCain took office we'd still be in Iraq and probably wouldn't try as hard to get us out. And um, I also like Obama more because he's a bit more charismatic and again he's younger. I mean welfare policy definitely needs reform. Um, prison policies like needs reform like drug policies like everything like, like like homelessness issues like I mean there's just so many domestic issues right now that we have not focused on like because we are you know so like so far this like our president is like focused on the international things and like our domestic like policies like, no. suck. I mean there's just so much to work on that I mean obviously I'm going to vote for Barack Obama because like we need change like obviously like need something and I think right now we need to focus on domestic issues and there's just so many to like deal on I can't really like pinpoint one that I'd like necessarily be like oh well I'd look forward to this like changing because like they all need to be changed I totally agree that with that we you know we need change in so many different areas and um, yeah like ev like everything within the country but also like our um, 
foreign policies. I think they need to change a lot, and I don't know. It's hard. There's just there's so many things, but hopefully, I I, I know. Unfortunately, with the next president and um, whoever it is, that we can't really expect too much because we're we, there's so much fixing that needs to be done. But yeah. hopefully, in the future, we can um, we can do more and like have a president that can be really progressive and change and not just have to fix the mess ups of the past.